Check the description for the following discount codes. To answer some of the questions after my review of the new PlaySeat Challenge X Logitech G Edition versus the original PlaySeat Challenge, I thought I'd just do this quick video. We have a tape measure to take some dimensions, widths primarily and height of the seat backs, etc. But, you know, looking at it, they look very similar in dimensions, apart from the seated section, you know, the base does look wider on this one here. I've not measured it yet, so we'll find out together. But first of all, let's just say what's the same. And essentially, that's just gonna be the wheel decks. These are identical. Same bolt holes uh, to fit it to the play seats themselves and the same slots and holes drilled for your various different wheel bases. That is pretty much the only part that is the same. Now this one obviously has the shift amount included with it that you see here, this plate that can run either side. This one does not, but this would fit on here should you want to. There are of course other options available for shift amounts that would that work on this, that should work on this, because looking at it, the tubular construction does look to be the same diameter. Now I don't have a pair of vernier calipers here to verify. I might just eyeball it just out of curiosity using a tape measure, so not the most precise, but let's have a look. So it's just under an inch for that. Yeah, and that's also just under an inch. Yeah, so the tubes, tubular construction is exactly the same diameter. So first difference is are of course the pedal tray that we have at the bottom here. The original play seat challenge just has this sort of rubber along the bottom and you put your pedals on, they hook underneath this end piece here and then you put a big Velcro strap around to hold your pedals down. Not the most secure method of holding pedals in place, especially not if you've got a fairly firm brake pedal. This side obviously we've now got you know, almost a proper tray, so to speak. We've got adjustable height and angle. There's plates that run across the middle here. This little strap for securing it up once folded away. This also has a Velcro one that goes around there and does the same thing. Now, I was told in the comments on the review of this that someone did get their Fanatic pedals to fit. I think it was a CSL V2s, perhaps, I think. And also Thrustmaster pedals bolt straight on. And again, I mentioned there's bound to be adapters that come out for other pedals too, because this is a big improvement, much, much better over what we see on this one here. Other differences, of course, are the original play seat has these straps here that we use to adjust the angle. You would undo them all the way. There's little markings on here and you would open it out, Velcro them back up. The new one has these quick release handles, which is much, much better, both for making that adjustment and for folding it up and putting it away at the end of a play session also. So that's definitely a big plus. Other bonuses or improvements are to stability of the play seat challenge. The original play seat challenge has got nice curved corners here and there's little feet, but they are just inside that and the same at the back here. On this new one, this X edition, these no longer curve round. In fact, I'll, I'll like put up some close-up footage showing this. These no longer curve round. They're actually straight and then they're welded and then there's feet on the end. This makes the PlaySeat Challenge X edition much more laterally stable, i.e. side to side, because effectively it is a bigger footprint and particularly where the feet slide on over the edge and actually sit on the floor. So we do have a much more stable um, cockpit, so to speak, from a side-to-side -side wobble point of view. Perhaps not terribly important when racing, but useful when getting in and out. And I'm just going to take a measurement, actually, of the width from the end of one foot to another. We are 50, 57.5 centimetres versus the actual contact patch on the floor of this one, I know you can't see me, but I'm still here. The contact patch on the floor where the feet are on this one is only actually 33 centimetres, and that's edge to edge of the little feet that attach on there. So a much more stable left to right. In fact, it's, yeah, it's actually quite apparent. That's just one finger on there doing that, one finger on this, and it barely moves. So that's much more 
solid and stable from that point of view. Both of them still have the same extendable rods here. This one again is, is beefier and more stable. It's a, a square piece of box section rather than a tubular shape. And it has another you know, foot like what we see on the corners on the end of that as well. So again, a bit more solid, a bit more stable. Only really applies again to getting in and out because it's when this folds over. Is that undone? Yeah, when this folds over, with a steering wheel attached to it, it's quite weighty. And what you don't want is it tipping over. This one functions just fine also, but this is definitely a nicer design. Whilst this is open, I'm gonna hop in and show you the difference in actual, you know, fitment on me as a person, because I much prefer sitting in this to sitting in that. It feels wider and we're gonna measure and find out if it actually is. But the biggest benefit is not having these straps at the sides that keep you narrow and tight. Let's actually measure the difference between the two widest points, which are these sort of metal sections that come out here. There's a little bend here, both of them have it. So we'll measure from there on both of them. I actually need to get out because my legs are in the way. And then I'll hop in the other one and you can see the difference as well. But let's just take this measurement and I'll measure inside. So the inside space between the tubes is 47.5 centimetres. I don't know if this is actually any different. Let's have a look. Oh, it is. It's actually quite a bit different. So the inside of this is 42 centimetres. So there is a five centimetre width difference. In addition to that, this one has these straps attached here via little brackets and they actually encroach into your space by about five mil. Yeah, by about five mil. So you're actually probably, yeah, instant, yeah, that instantly feels tight around my legs and nowhere near as comfortable. Okay, I actually wasn't expecting that because I hadn't yet measured and I hadn't sat back in this one for a while. That is much wider and much more comfortable. Interesting. So then we also must have greater space sort of where my knees are here as well because they slot into the same tubes. Let's just have a little measure up of that. Try and get my legs out of the way. So that's 42.5. So that's probably going to be, this will probably be the same as what the tubes there were, 47, yeah, 40, 47.5. So yes, the whole thing, five centimeters wider, that really makes a difference, especially if you're a bigger guy. I'm not a particularly big guy, I'm just shy of six foot, um, and I weigh about 85 kilos. You know, there are much larger people out there than me. This is definitely a better option. Now also looking at it, I'm wondering whether the base is a little longer. I think it might just be the angle the seat's at, but there is a, a seam where it kind of goes from the back up right to the bottom. So let's have a measure from there to the front. 39.5 centimetres. And we'll do the same from this one. That's also 39.5 centimetres. So no, it's not any longer, but it is much wider. I'm curious whether the upright section is wider as well. And I suppose that's the next logical thing to measure, we'll go inside the tubes again. 47, don't quite have the same space in there, do you? Um, 48, so actually the space in between the upright tubes, or for the back section, is actually a centimetre wider on this. But again, we have these straps, that if I actually stand in here, I can see it tapers in with those straps quite substantially. Yeah, if you lost the straps, you probably wouldn't feel as tight in the upright section because these, again, encroach into your space a little bit. But it's more about that leg space. I'm just going to hop in this one again because it really feels, yeah, that is so much more spacious and comfortable. Interesting. Wasn't expecting that. But yeah, so it is actually bigger. So this is definitely the one for bigger guys. Our pedal tray is obviously much better. We do have a shift amount. The quick adjustments for fold away and angle adjustment are better than the original. So, and it's more stable because it does have a wider footprint, 
with feet on each corner and a more stable stability rod, stabilizer rod, you might call it, as well. Any other differences? Let's just hop out and have another look. I am doing this kind of all like live. I haven't actually compared the two before starting the video. Obviously, we've got a difference in material. This is like a, presumably it's a fake suede rather than a real suede. It might be real, I can't remember now. And this is what they call their active fit breathable one, which is like a mesh. I don't think there's any other differences. Tubes are the same size. Yeah, the pedal trays both slide in and out using thumb screws. I mean, aside from the fact that we've got holes here that you could, in theory, put seat belts through, and this one you don't. No, I think that is probably all the differences. The other course, the other difference, of course, is price. On Amazon at the moment, which is what's up on the screen to the right here, the X edition. Logitech Geodism Play Seat Challenge X is £100 more currently than the original Play Seat Challenge. Now, what's also interesting is they're calling this the Play Seat Challenge ActiFit. Now, that is what this material is supposed to be. But in the picture here, it very much looks like the suede or fake suede that is on the original Play Seat Challenge. This, of course, is the original Play Seat Challenge. It's the same pedal tray. It's got the same straps, it's got the same stabilizer rod, you know, it hasn't got the feet on the corners. It's definitely the OG play seat challenge. And the material, even the, the pattern for the stitching is identical to what's on this one over here. So, it, and the, you know, the active fit material, you look in the picture here, you can see this mesh. You can see that breathable material. That one doesn't, it definitely looks suede, but it's called play seat challenge active fit. And if I actually look in the description, I'm sure it even references the material as being, yes, uh, breathable active fit material to avoid sweat even in the most excessive racing sessions. But it doesn't look like it. So I don't know whether the picture is wrong or where, because it literally just looks like this one. And whether if you bought one, you would get this active fit material or not. But that's what it says. But yes, at the moment, this is £155 with Amazon Prime. This is £259 with Amazon Prime. That is a £105 difference, both in stock, both available. Tomorrow, I'll link to both in the description should you want to pick one up. Maybe it's a Christmas present or something. I guess really, if because the first thing everyone's going to say is, Carl, what would you do? So what would I do? That's a really tricky one because 105 pounds extra on top of something that's only 155 in the first place, that's a hell of an increase, hell of a price difference. I mean, the same is 22% off and it was 200 quid, which would have made this one only 60 pound more. And for 60 pound more, I personally would have bought this one all day long, primarily because of the extra width and how much more comfortable it is. I wouldn't use the shifter mount because it's in the wrong place for me. I'd appreciate the ability to hard mount the pedals, but I found a way to hard mount my Logitech pedals to this one anyway. So that wouldn't be the selling point really. It would just be the comfort. For 60 notes extra, I'd be like, yeah, I want the more comfortable one. But for 105 pound, I mean, that's tough. That is a tough choice. I think if money's tight, I would stick with the original play seat challenge because I've raced in this um, and yes, it's snug on my legs. It's not too uncomfortable. It wouldn't stop me using it. It never has done, you know, in the past. So I think I'd probably go with this if money was tight. And you've got to remember, you're buying these foldables because you need a foldable and it's what you're going to be using for some time because otherwise, 260 notes, you know, you're better off saving up a little bit more and buying a GT Amiga Art or something like that that's actually a proper static cockpit. These are foldables, we've got to compare them to other foldables. I mean, this is nice, you know, that comfort is great and that, that pedal tray is a big improvement, the stability is big 
as well. I suppose really that, that side to side stability does actually have a little bit of an effect if you're racing frantically, perhaps in, a, in rally, in dirt rally or WRC 23, where you're doing a lot of phys rapid physical movements and changes. Circuit based racing, where we, where we try and drive as smooth as possible, you probably wouldn't notice the stability so much, but in a rally title, you might. Also, if you've got a handbrake fitted that you're yanking, and I used to have one fitted to the side of this, the video on that, you're pulling sideways then. So, I mean, this really is an upgrade in every way, but is it 105 pounds? I mean, I guess that's down to you really. Uh, as I say, if it was only the 60 quid difference, I'd buy this one all day long, because 60 notes isn't too bad, but 105 is a fair leap. Anyway, that's enough of my waffle. I probably would have put up some sort of close up footage as I've been walking around throughout this video for you to see the differences. Is this squeaking? It is squeaking. Oh no, now it's not squeak. Okay. So, so this one seems to have a squeak. I'm guessing if I'm sat in it. Yeah, if I was sat in it, it wouldn't squeak. This one doesn't squeak. Anyway, <laughs> enough of my waffle. As always, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.